Hello, my name is Patricia and welcome to my channel. If this is the very first time that you have fell on any one of my videos, welcome. I'd love to see you back. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what my current beauty favorites are. I will say that my beauty makeup style has changed recently, I, say, I would say over the past couple of years. And I just don't have the time that I used to have to dedicate to makeup on a daily basis. So I really pare down what I do every day or every day that I wear makeup. And I'm really looking for products that are easy to use, products that I don't have to fuss a whole lot with. Also, another way that I can pull back on time is having products that can either serve uh, multiple uses for me, things like that, that make my rut routine a little bit more seamless, um, especially on those days where um, I'm working or something like that, as opposed to um, going out or date night where I might take a little bit more time. It's gonna be mostly makeup, but I have some other items that I wanna share with you guys as well. So let's start off with face. The first product is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is a very popular product. A lot of people like this. Um, I used to use this way back in the day, but have recently revisited it. It's a moisturizer slash primer. It's just a very good base for your makeup. It can serve sort of both purposes for you. Um, postpartum, my skin is a lot more dry. Um, I was pre I previously had very combination oily, oily skin. And now I am more normal with some dry areas. Um, I do want to talk about some of the postpartum eczema that I have been I've been dealing with. And this is the product that I like to put under my makeup now. I never thought I would be here, y'all. But it uh, provides moisture without it being too greasy. Um, and it's just, I really like it. It's good for the skin, but also... Um, makeup clings well to it as well. The next thing is the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Seamless Skin Foundation. Mine's a little beat up, y'all, because I absolutely love this foundation. It glides on so smoothly. Some people say it's difficult to apply, but I don't find that the case for me. It's blurring. The skin match is perfect when I have this on and I'm doing a virtual uh, video call or I'm teaching online. It just looks beautiful. <laughs> it looks beautiful on camera. I absolutely love, love, love this foundation and have been using this um, on those days where I do want to do a little bit more. Next in face is the Hourglass Vanish uh, Stick Foundation. I might be missing a word or two in that name. I love this. It's not the first time that you guys have seen this on my channel. I have a whole video dedicated to this back in my oilier days. Um, now that I'm normal, um, I, I love this. I, I absolutely love this. It again has that blurring effect and it's easy to apply because it is a stick foundation absolutely love that about it i apply it directly to my face and then i will blend using the expert face brush by real techniques and it's just an easy quick face last up in face is the laura mercier translucent powder this one is bay i have backups i have the travel version um, i even have the compact version of this so not the loose powder and i carry that around my purse absolutely love 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 this powder again it's blurring um you know there's it's colorless so i don't have to worry about finding a powder that matches my foundation i just apply this under my eyes to set my concealer and in my t-zone absolutely love it i will never not have this i've yet to find a powder that does what this does for me. So let's go to eyes. Let's go to eyes. This is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. Ooh, y'all, I love this. I absolutely love this. It is beat up because your girl uses it. Here, let me turn it this way. Ooh, I love it. You have five eyeshadows here on the top. You have a blush and then a highlight here. Again, it's like a one-stop shop. I love it for that reason. The colors, very neutral colors. 
this brown is definitely deep enough to um, contour my crease and I love these two as transition colors and then you have two options here for your lid color and I actually use the highlight um, under my brow this blush is a cream blush and um, it's very a very pretty neutral color and um, there's a little lid right here. I don't know if you guys can see that to help protect that cream product. I use this today. Next up is the Uma Volume 1 um, High Life Contour Palette. Let's call it that. I'm not sure if that got the name right. But you have um, two lovely highlight highlighters in here and then a... Uh, sculpting color and then a beautiful blush here on the top again a great one-stop shop for the cheeks and i absolutely love it it is a black owned brand so i love that as well and again easy to use one-stop shop love 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 this palette and then lips uh let's see this is carnivorous by mac this is their liquid uh, lipsticks. It's their long wear formula. I'll put the name on the screen because I'm not exactly sure what it's called. This color is called Carnivorous. It's so, so pretty. It's not the color that I have on right now. I actually have a Lisa Eldridge um, lipstick on right now. I can't remember the color that I'm wearing, but I really, really like this. It's doesn't transfer a whole lot which is great if you're um you know have to wear a mask to run to a store or something like that um i really really uh, like the formula of this because it doesn't leave my lips dry but it lasts long and i like that um and it doesn't smudge also under a mask so i like that um i know mac is a really old school brand but for me it's tried and true and i really like this formula of liquid lipstick that they have and the very last thing that i want to share with you guys is a fragrance and this is coco uh, mademoiselle by chanel and i really really like this fragrance um i've been wearing this pretty much every day as you guys can see I have made, come on, come on, there we go, quite the dent in this fragrance. I do wear this out, but I also wear this at home during the day, and I really like it. Um, it has a presence, but for me, it doesn't have a whole bunch of sillage. I know this brand is very known for their mature fragrances, but I think this one is kind of universal. But it does give like um, a woman, there's a woman thing about this though, right? Um, not necessarily mature, not super young, but right there in the middle. Um, I really do like this one, one of my favorites uh, by Chanel. So that's all I have for you guys. Share with me what you guys have been loving uh, these days, makeup wise or beauty wise. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys soon with another one. And as always, God bless.